Hi there everyone and welcome back to the project corner. Today I'm going to look at a variance chart. This variance chart came to me when I saw the video by the Power BI guys where they had their monthly update and they shared a couple of custom visuals. Now I'll put a link in the show notes for this specific um, custom visual. But have a look at this. It has actual versus planned in there. So this is ideal for a project world, right? So what I created was a simple schedule and you see it here in front of me. It has all the elements in there. It has actual values, it has baseline, it has costs in there, it has work in there. So let's have a look and let's create a variance chart just like the one we saw in the Power BI video. So first off, I'll head over to my Power BI desktop and I created a report based on the content pack. So the first thing that I'll do is I'll pull in the visual and to do that, I'll click on the ellipsis and I'll say import from marketplace. Now what I do is I go to 3AG and these guys are active. So these guys have a number of visuals all related to variances it seems. But I'm typically interested in this one, the one that was shared during the last Power BI update. So let's click on add. And as you can see the import was successful and there's a new icon here the line chart for ab with absolute variance. Well, great. Let's add that to our screen. Let's resize this a bit. And we see that there is a category, actuals, previous year, planned, and forecast. Now I've been playing around and I know that for the category, I would like to have my time. So I'm going to use the time set and I'm going to have the year month time variance, the year month time values. So I'll click on category. Now it immediately tells me that there is something missing. So we are not done yet to create an actual visual. So because we're doing something time phase, we want to have the time phase data set. And one of the uh, time phase data sets that we no need to look into is assignment of time phase data set. Enter the assignment work for the actuals and there's a dot here and I'm not interested in the year basis I'm just interested in years and months all right so let's head over to the assignment time phase only in regards to the baseline this time so I had a plan how are we doing whoa this was fast right where there's an immediate data visualized for me. And I know this data because I had a baseline and um, some things were more expensive. And at the end, it got more positive. So this doesn't look right, where it is adding on top of what was planned. And in some visuals, that might be the case where you have more sales than you planned to do. But for us, having an actual schedule that is above the baseline is actually bad, right? So what do we do? Well, first off, we're going to go into the format pane and we'll have the bar chart properties. And what we're going to do here is we're going to invert the variance colors. Once we've done that, we see that above the uh, average line or above the, the baseline, <laughs> it uh, says that it is red and below it is green because if we're doing things cheaper or faster, that is good for us. I'm not very interested in the values that are in a decimal situation, so I'll remove the decimal values. And keep in mind, it the visual is called in absolute variance but absolute sounds to me like it takes the the actual variance 
but it actually creates a delta in percentages. So it's 15% more expensive, 10% more expensive, 35% cheaper, and 7% cheaper. So keep that in mind, this is percentage-wise, and these values are actual values. So one of the other things that I noticed was that the date time actually is wrong, where it starts with February, then January, March and April. Now that is because there is a uh, sorting going on, not on the, uh, the time phase, but on the assignment work. Now let's change that to year, year, month, month. And let's have that as being a ascending situation. Now we have January, February, March, and April. Some other things that we notice right away where this is the actual plan. So the dark line is the actuals and the light line is the baseline. But there is no values in the baseline. And to get that corresponding, this is called the plan. So let's head over to format and to data labels. And here it shows you that you can show the actual text, which now disappears or reappears. And there's also the previous text for the previous year, which we don't have, and the forecast, which we also don't have. But as soon as we click on show plan, uh, plan text, the following thing happens. So there is overlapping visualization here, which is not very nice to look at. So this is something that the uh, three AG guys could look into. I would like to see an update for this uh, visual to get that better, um, better visualized. But other than that, it's a clean visual with not too much and not too little. Uh, one of the nice things I want to add here is that this is for the complete schedule that I created. So this is the schedule, but obviously because it's on Power BI, it can be linked up to Project Online. And if it can be linked to Project Online, you can change the project type or project owner or governance phase. One of the things that I can do from this um, from this visual is I can look into the assignments that are completed or not. So what I do now, I look at the percentage work complete and I'll make this a slicer. Now I'll look at everything. But if I change this to 99%, I look at everything that isn't completed yet. And that's good because there's some work still remaining in January, which should have been completed. I know, I know. Um, but in February, we are still working and there is still that increase of 15%. And then in, then in March, we have this very uh, steep decline in the actual costs. And uh, then we have a little more... Um, positive outcome. So that's it. Uh, it's a very easy to read visual, very clean, also for the guys that have color blindness, I think. I don't know if this would work for them. Um, and there's not that much information that you need to enter into the visual. There's the category, there's the actuals, the previous year is an option, plan value and forecast value. It's very neat, it's very clean. It's free to download. So if you like this visual, head on over to the marketplace and install it yourself. And um, if you're a member of the newsletter, you get, you get this file as well as the project schedule uh, to play around with. So with that, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit that subscribe button and I will see you in two weeks.